baby. Play that powdered funk. This is the powder that brought fame to Arij. Never goes over the top, but plays with the oud. Fantastic oud. People in the community that knew about Arij early on are my heroes. The second collection rivals the third. We'll see. I also have another one of these coming. Branded Therapeutic Fragrance, chasing the best, the best. Subscribe, spray on. All right, check it. That's all I have. I wish I had the bottle. It, this is one of those things I would rather almost not smell than have this. I lie. I'm thankful I smelled it. But what I have now will be precious. Wore it five times, that's it. Never sprayed more than three times. Mr. Oz gave this to me. Thank you, Oz, for allowing me the opportunity to smell this thing. Perfumer, Russian Adam, House, Arija Lador. I believe 2017 it went for around 200 bucks for 50 ml. Priceless now. Easily... If you had a bottle, we'd go over for, we'd go over a thousand dollars on eBay easily. Please don't buy it at that. It's not worth it. Chase new stuff. Um, but that that's I mean it, it's priceless juice. That's the point. Fifty five masculine, forty five feminine. The notes of this technically it's a rose and oud. I'm wearing dry down, and um. I, 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 and the last time I wore this, I'm like, I just don't get that much rose, which I love. <sighs> rose and nude. <laughs> I think he just put it in there because the second collection have to have rose and nude for Eastern people, but it, it doesn't need to be in there. It's in there as a top note. Maybe barely it comes off, but the, the, you early early subscribers, the ones that have stayed with me, one of my first biggest videos I did was calling Russian Adam a perfume master at Florals because of his early work. I, I did the video while I'm on Indolus, Flu de Flor, which is part of this collection. It, it had didn't smell this one, but this this is that. Just amazing floral work here. It, it blows Grandinia away. I know what he's going for with Grandinia. He was trying to show off his vintage perfume he had. But this is... Uh, I don't think we're going to get material from him like this ever again. This was small batch. So this was about making a name for himself. And he could go find the, the best florals in the world. So he was only making 50 bottles of that. Now his batches, I, I mean, I think he's up to a thousand bottles or close to that. I don't know what he's at now. I know Santal Glor maxed out at 250 and he called that his, his lowest one. And he said Musclave was, was half of the others. But when you go take that jump, you're just not going to get the materials. What? That's why I call this stuff priceless. I mean... That's why I'm chasing all these these first editions of people who who I know are good Agora because they want the name for themselves and you can just smell it. <laughs> That's why I'm like I wish I never smelled this to compare it. So I get knocked for uh, knocking one piece of Grandinia. This is why. This is. I wish everyone could smell this. I wish it could be remade. You just can't go from a 50 bottle batch to a thousand bottle batch. It's, it's impossible. And that's, that's his dilemma of growth and limited. That's a limited dilemma. Maybe he could go make 50 limited bottles, but I mean, as his popularity, there's, there's a give and take. All of a sudden the price goes up triple per bottle. And will the market pay for that? I don't know. But, um, that's my thoughts anyway. Just my thoughts. But where we're at with this, this actually opens a bit like his partner's Lyric Squee. I think Lyric Squee was the second collection of Dimitri. I don't know if they were talking or trading or anything, but but it just it has that fun bubble gummy cocoa powder opening. Cocoa is not mentioned in the notes, but 
just that fun open inch and pack, I believe, in both. And as a key to that bubblegum faucet that I, I'm in love with, with the York Squid that it shows up in here. What also shows up in here is, um, and this is called a Verna Russo. It could be called a Verna Oud. Again, the batches were so small, I used some of his best ouds. The Hindi oud in this, and, and the other oud fa facets he's using. The um, I believe he's using like a white oud as well. So, I mean, he's just hitting so many layers in this. Oh, let's read the notes. That's where, that's where I was at. So, uh, Rose Otto, white pepper, extracted by Russian Adam, peach blossom, osmanthus, extracted by Russian Adam, frankincense, Russian Adam, white gardenia, white chimpacum, Clove carbon, Indian sallow, taco bean, absolute tincture of Siberian musk pod, and synthetic civet. So even then, he was he was telling us it was synthetic. Love that about him. Rare wild Hainan agarwood oil, Indian oud oil, Indonesian gaharu boya. So I'm gonna come back to that note. Uh, betel leaf, Virginian cedarwood, and benzoin. So the gahir, uh, what, what's that called? The Geharu Buya is a white, kind of like a white oud, white wood, um, notes of Gaiac wood and whatnot. This this is one of my favorite Arij openings there is. Um, it's, it's like the you know, squeak with even a more punchy, punchy oud in it. And the whole thing gets enveloped in a, a powder. The powder never, so start off the top of the video, this is where the powder reach is good at. In this past few, Agadinor, Agadinoris, Grandinia, I mean, just the powder has just taken over. And then you just see this powder plume happen, powder cloud. It does, the cloud doesn't happen here. It just stays here and never you know, the big puffy white cloud, that never happens. It, it, it stays here with these mean boots, soft woods, and the floral work. The floral work is unbelievable. Dirty, pungent, clean oud. Fantastic use of Indian oud, not for the faint. But if you hold on to it, you'll see what the beautiful oud can do, why it's used in perfumes, and you might just fall in love with it. It's got that clean funk surrounded by peach, peach blossom and those mantis. Um, just a bit of that resin with the enveloping powder. <sighs> this is the gardenia work I wanted in Grandinia. It's magnificent and unbelievable work. Again, he probably had a, a gardenia oil that I wanted this gardenia facet <laughs> in there. Gardenia, just see the review. I don't need to talk about that. This is perfect. The florals, the champaca, the gardenia, and the rose just get buttered in with that. Indian oud, and all of a sudden a cream in the middle of the velpy powder with the strong oud that never goes away, all structured by the musk. Amazing. <clears throat> spices are fresh and forward. I would never call this an oriental. The spices just add perfect facets to the, the ch creamy champaca and gardenia and makes the Oud extra special. The clove just hits that Indian oud perfectly with a dusting air of fresh cinnamon. Sri Lankan cinnamon, I'm guessing, just not, not your typical fresh cinnamon note. The heart turns into a dry powder champaca, which was really cool. It must be the gardenia causing that, because in Wallamo, the champaca is a lot more creamy and sharp, where it, it's powdered and creamy in the heart of this. Again, with the pungent oud, though, the, the difference maker is the bed of oud this lays on and the musk that just, what musk does that adds to the champaca 
and the other florals in there. Rose never comes out on its own to my nose, but um, that's why I'm saying other florals. Indian sandalwood does its magic and helps melt everything together into a sweet, smoked, amber, barely leather dry down with woods and slight incense. Awesome. Again, must carry in the fragrance. That's the base of the fragrance. If if you're familiar with musk and you've gotten used to musk, you'll smell it there and you, you'll smell it doing its magic to everything. If you just put it on, you might not even know musk is there and, and what it's doing. It, it, and that's what it should do. It, it's literally there to amplify all the other ingredients and just add touches of attractiveness to them. And it accomplishes that in spades. Scoring, Inverno, Russo, Arish Lador, Experience 15 out of 15, Branding 5 out of 5, origin, um, uh, that's originality, Projection 5-5, five, five, Longevity 5-5, five, five. Composition 18 out of 20, Ingredients 23 out of 25, 10 Talk, 5 Heart, 9 out of 10 for the base, 95 Lucky, lucky if you got this. I don't, I don't have it. I'll buy it from you in a heartbeat for retail price. Um, that's even if you have half a bottle. But um, yeah, the lucky have this one made again. I mean, these super limited, you know, special occasions, creative moments for me. Um, I would wear it all year long. Two foot of projection you can get out of this medium to long tail sillage. People know you're wearing it. Eight hours and even longer of longevity. How about that? While we're waiting in the middle of waiting, as the perfume master goes to work for what is this? The, the seventh? Seventh collection. Whew. I saw some stuff on Kino. On Instagram. Anyways, be blessed. <laughs>